As said earlier, institutions, communities can only exist if they keep on changing. Change is important for existence. And who is the agent of change? By agent of change, I mean who is the person or who is responsible for bringing this change? Which institution brings this change? Teacher works as an agent to bring changes in the lives of the students. The students depend a lot on their teacher's guidance, whether they are at the primary level, secondary level or an adult stage. They would always like to get some guidance from those who are more experienced. In case the teacher has displayed a behavior in which the students can trust the teacher, then this a change would always be brought by the teacher in the lives of the students. Whatever is said by the teacher will be followed by the student, and thus the student will try to bring a change in his life, then in the lives of others in the community, people in the family, close friends, and thus would be able to bring a change in the society and then nation. This sort of a change results in a positive change because the norms of the society and the culture of the community is being made better in order to have positive results. Of course, in case of bringing a negative change, the society, the culture, the community would be badly affected by the negative change. So, in both cases, the teacher is going to bring the change in the life of the learner. The school is going to support that because the teacher is an integral part of the school. The community might support that as well. So if everything is being done in positive direction, the change in the life of the learner would be positive and thus the results would be positive, helping the group of students, then the whole school, then this being taken to the family and thus being delivered to the community, the whole chain of positive chain would carry on. However, in cases of negative influences, there can be confrontations. There could be members in the community who would take an action against something which is being done in the community and which has to be stopped. For that reason, people have to risk sometimes their reputation and to the extent of their life as well. The example is the spread of smoking in a community. Sometimes, due to some reasons, some frustration in the school, the students, they form a group and start smoking at a very early age. This sort of a habit is like an epidemic. Usually it has been noticed that this group becomes bigger and bigger. And that means the life of the students is changing in a negative sense. The school has not been able to remove or help the students to get out of their frustration. The teachers are not playing a role where they can help the students to stop smoking, get out of this bad habit, engage them in positive activities where they can release their frustration. Ultimately, this habit is going to go to the community and there can be opportunities for people to spread it more or there is a possibility that there develops a confrontation in the community in order to stop it.